All right, Ryan, great meet today. But I need Thank to ask you. about the YouTube channel. Yeah. What's the motivation? Why are you Why are you doing this? You don't need yeah. this. Yeah. So I feel like the YouTube channel is just a great opportunity to grow the sport and shed some light on track and field and the throws uh, and help out younger kids. So. Yeah, I'm doing it just because I feel like it's something the sport needs. We don't have an elite thrower kind of doing the YouTube thing. Um, so to spread information, there's so many passionate young throwers out there that I feel like either don't have information um, or just want to learn more. So I'm trying to help them out and grow, just bring attention to the sport uh, and grow the throws following because I feel like once people get exposed to it, they get excited. Uh, they see the passion that the athletes bring. So, yeah, check it out. See what you guys think. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about it. I like doing it. And, uh, and so it also gives my training partner, Eric Solens, uh, something to work towards and a little bit of side income to keep him in the sport as well. Are you worried you're giving away secrets? Like if I was going to be mom, in the ring up against you, I would definitely see what you're doing. My mom says that I am for sure. She calls me every single video and says, you're giving away your secrets. Stop doing that. <laughs> um, and so we get into a little bit of an argument over that sometimes. But um, I don't. I feel like that the main thing is that there are no secrets. That's like the biggest secret in any athletics, any sport is that everyone thinks that there is a secret, that there's a secret. And once you get to the elite level, you realize there really isn't. Everyone's kind of doing the same thing. Uh, they're hard, hardworking, dedicated, following a, a training program and having confidence in what you're doing. So I feel like there's not really a secret that I'm giving away, except for that there is no secret. So. I feel like the world is now seeing this coaching side of you. Like you really do get into the technical side of things. You give a ton of advice out years from now. Is that a path that you want to go down? Maybe I'm most interested in kind of sport performance. So I love throwing and it's a passion of mine, but on the coaching side, what really interests, interests me is uh, sport and athletic performance. So trying to get athletes faster, stronger, more explosive uh, is what's interesting because track to be quite frank, is just frustrating. You can get a kid uh, that's essentially better uh, physically, and then he just, the technique isn't there or the mental side isn't there. It's so easy to know an athlete is faster or an athlete is stronger or more explosive, and the science is so much harder uh, in terms of the data points being there. So that's what interests me, and that's why I like, and working across all sports, you're almost like more of a consulting role than a coaching role. Do you spend a lot of time, you know, studying and yeah. Obviously looking at video of yourself, but just outside of Yeah, your... so I'm, I'm always trying to take what I can and learn uh, from everywhere. I don't feel like there's any one spot um, that you kind of, you can, it's really easy to lock yourself in a box and say, I'm a thrower, I'm going to look at other throwers. Mm -hmm. uh, I try and learn from everywhere that I can. So like I've recently, I feel like I had a pretty good technical breakthrough and training breakthrough watching uh, a Mai Tai and Jiu Jitsu video. So um, watching some of the best jiu-jitsu athletes in the world just in their training on YouTube and I was like man I can actually apply some of that to throwing so uh, that's been that's kind of an example of where I'm trying to take stuff from where I'm trying to learn from um, not trying to get boxed into this little mindset of that throwing needs to be throwing based you're all athletes have something to learn from other athletes final question yeah if you coached me for an hour <laughs> how far am i improving my throw so if i get in the ring right now i'm, I'm 145 511 all right how far do i throw and then if you give me an hour i feel like you'd go up for sure as long as you don't hurt yourself um <laughs> I'd say we, we could probably get you up five to ten feet. So the easy gains are, the early gains are the easy gains. So, um, I What are you doing like, tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm doing team processing tomorrow. But the problem is, at best, maybe we get you close to 30 feet. So I don't think we'll do anything. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah.